Creativity is an addiction. I, I, I admit it. And I go to it every day because I'm addicted to it because I need something from it. In order to survive creatively and, and financially, I need my creativity. But I don't want it to be a battle zone. So you build up a relationship with it. You learn to listen to each other's sides of the story and expectation. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I write in a forest. I go into these forests to listen. What started at the Billy Graham Library in Charlotte, North Carolina has evolved into a lifelong journey. Something is always moving through me. I call it my calling. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Chapter number 297, January 14th, 2022. The wait. So much has been forecasted. Days are now only hours away. The predicted first snow and ice of the winter season. The bite in the air, 40 degrees right now in this forest. No owls hooting, no falcons screeching. Come to think of it, I haven't even seen the deer. The wait. More is moving through my head than leaves falling from the trees. Calming the senses inside a forest. A moment with nature. Do the trees feel the sting in the breeze like I? Where are the bouncy squirrels? All must be stuck in the same thought as I. If I close my eyes, the bad weather will go away, right? There is amazing beauty in this forest when bathed in snowflake white. I've even fallen witness to a completely crystallized forest. Maybe that's where nature is in this moment with the sun. All who are participating, they're all in rehearsals. You can't just hit the stage and expect to wow the human warriors. The wait. It's been four years since our last snow dance. Once we even got 17 inches. The wait. How can I help? Or participate. How often do you get out into nature? A forest, a park, a walk on a greenway, or maybe just a walk through the, the avenues, the streets of your community. There is so much to be learned, to be shared, to receive. When you find yourself in a place of, oh my God, this is so much bigger than me. See, as human beings, it's so easy to walk into a Lowe's and a Home Depot and get yourself a candy-coated plastic bathroom mirror smile type of yard or a kitchen and things like that. We all want what the magazine says that we need to have, but yet we don't walk out into something that is completely out of our control. It almost, it's almost like controlled chaos, recklessness. You walk into my forest here in South Charlotte, North Carolina, this is not about me there's a story here. There was a story here before I even arrived here in 1992. From this house, not even, not even three miles from here, there are stones bigger than homes that Native Americans used to live in back in the 1400s. You see what I mean? Much bigger than me. But there needs to be more of us to start listening to be able to sit next to the rock, to be able to not be afraid of the, of the copperhead snake or the black snake. I, I, I have raccoons that, that have really been wreaking havoc on my house over the past couple of weeks. I'm not mad. I'm not injured. I'm listening. There's a message that nature is constantly sharing. So to be out there on this January 14th day in 2022, right in the center of the wait. Waiting for the snow. Waiting for the next step. How will nature react when the human being freaks out when it, when it snows, just freaks out. Where are you at in your walk in life? And does it include the stories that nature is so willing to share? I'm Errol. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest.